Welcome to the Two Geeks in a Microphone podcast, your one-stop shop for television, movie, video games, comic books, book reviews, and more. Now, without further ado, here's Stephen and Mike. <laughs> well, hello there. Hey, everybody. Welcome to the Two Geeks and a Microphone special edition. We could not wait. I am your co-host, Mr. Stephen Buster, along with the one, the only, Mr. Michael Shanks. Mike, say hey to everybody. Good evening to all you Star Wars geeks out there in geekdom land. <laughs> <laughs> That's right. By golly. All right, as you well know, if you are in the Star Wars fandom, yes, today dropped Obi-Wan Kenobi. Kenobi Disney Plus series, and we could not wait to talk about it. By oh, wait a minute, wait a minute. Here, here's the proper way to say it. Kenobi. <laughs> Kenobi! <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Sam Whitworth. <laughs> That's right, by golly. So... All right, everybody, we're here going to discuss Obi-Wan Kenobi, the first two episodes. I am pumped and excited about this because I can't wait because I, you know, Kenobi is my favorite. So I'm so glad we're getting this series and uh, this uh, did not disappoint. So what are we going to do? We're going to give our uh, give our little review or our, our score and then uh, and then talk about it. Spoilers ahead, everybody. Just just say it. <laughs> <laughs> what do you think, Mike? Um, so what are we using for our uh, scale? Um, actually, I know what I want to use. It's kind of a spoiler, though. Um, it's that's all right. It's all spoiler territory from here on. Right, it's spoilerific from here on out, everybody. So if you haven't seen it, stop watching and watch it. <laughs> Definitely, and then come back. So I, I think we should use uh, the the little robot uh, Lola. Lola, Lola. Ah, I love it. <laughs> I love it. Yeah. <laughs> I, I, you know, I'm 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 wondering, are they going to have? Do they have Lolas available right now at Star Wars Celebration? Cause, yeah, I know, right? You know, if I would have planned Celebration, knowing this was coming out and stuff, I would have had those mm-hmm. things ready to sell today. <laughs> yeah, yep, exactly, yes, very much so. I leaned over to Kelly and I said, well, well there's some kids merchandising right there. Kids? <laughs> I want one. <laughs> right. <laughs> uh, I, I want a Lola bot, whatever you want to call it. I, right, right. Actually, Troy loved it. Actually, you know what it reminded me of? It, What's that? It reminded me of Batteries and in, Not Included. Oh yeah! Remember that movie? I do remember such that a movie. great movie. Ooh, such what a, a great, great callback! Yeah. yeah, as soon as I saw it, I was like, "Batteries Not Included." Got it. Yep. Be. Yeah. No, good call. Good call. Nice. Nice one. <laughs> yeah. Thanks, so thank you, Troy. Troy loved the little robot, and then uh, we'll talk later about. You know what happens later, yeah. but it was quite tragic in my home. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Okay. Oh, gosh. All right. Lola's. Lola's. I like it. All right. You came up with it, weren't you? I, I, everybody, I, we have not talked about this at all. We said we're just going to go on live tonight. We can't wait, and we're just going to just oh, talk it like we normally would. So you're hearing two friends just geek out star wars geek out about this show and i i know nothing about how you felt about this episode and you know nothing about how i felt we haven't talked are, are we doing one and two or just yeah that's what i was gonna say just... i think we should do two as one full episode i mean perfect i'm i'm down with that okay yes. so if, if if i'm gonna rate the two all together as one i'm giving this thing nine and a half lola's <laughs> mm. I, oh my gosh mm-hmm. um mm-hmm. I, I gotta say so far mm-hmm. this is my favorite star wars of the disney era i i okay th- 
I, I like this even better. You know, I was super, super excited about it. Much more better. Much more better. Sorry, yep. Oh, got my Diet Coke. I have my tea. <laughs> yeah. Um, <laughs> as much as I was looking forward to Boba Fett, and, and I really enjoyed Boba Fett. I liked it a lot. Um, uh-huh. I got to say, this was better. <laughs> oh, my gosh. Yes. This was so much better. Uh, yeah. uh, Obi Wan was Obi Wan, you know. Yeah, he he was who mm-hmm. I expected him to be, you know. Boba mm-hmm. Fett wasn't exactly who any of us expected him to be. Mm-hmm. Not not saying I didn't like him. I still enjoyed it. You know, I I like mm-hmm. where they're going with it and everything. But mm-hmm. I just love the fact that they just went off of the the uh, the original Obi Wan. And we got what we expected. I mean, at least I got what I expected anyway. (laughs) Yep. Yep. Uh, I will agree with you. Uh, I would give it a (laughs) 9.59997. I loved it. Uh, I loved it. I loved it. I loved it. I did, too. uh, I did, too. I I was impressed through the whole thing uh, for both episodes. Um, I thought the recap that they did at the beginning was phenomenal. We'll yes, get into that. yes. Um, and, and you know, for and, all those prequel haters out there, you know, because there's still a lot of those out there. Um, which I'm not a prequel <laughs> hater. I, I actually mm-hmm. enjoy the prequels quite a bit. Actually, um, I mm-hmm. do think that uh, Attack of the Clones is the worst of the three. Which, by the way, it's the 20th anniversary of Attack of the Clones. Okay, <laughs> which they had a Excellent panel that we should talk about too, on on uh, on Star Wars Celebration. I watched that right after I got home from work today. Um, but mm. they had an Attack of the Clones panel, which I have to admit, there was a moment that I teared up. I, I really did. Oh, um, okay, okay. Uh, yeah, I had a Kevin Smith moment. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I hate to admit that. God, I hate to admit that. Um, but anyway, uh, I digress. Uh, yeah. Um. For the, all those prequel haters out there, watch the beginning of Kenobi because you get this great introduction. I mean, a, a great recap of all three of the prequel movies and no Jar Jar's in it. So for all you Jar Jar haters, just watch the beginning of Kenobi, Obi-Wan Kenobi, and you, you'll you'll get, you get what you need. a great recap. Yeah, you get a great recap. Oh, uh, yeah. Yes, 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 yes. So um, I, from point A, that... That recap set the stage for me. I'm like, this is a really well done recap. The music they put behind it was fabulous. And then from there, I was just engrossed into the whole show. All oh, of it. And speaking of music, the maestro mm-hmm. returned to do the theme for Obi Wan Kenobi. Oh, <gasps> I did not realize. Oh yeah, that. he did. I I posted I posted his performance on uh on our Facebook page yesterday, too. Oh, I've been uh, kind of busy. Dude, you got to pay attention, man. <laughs> That's okay. That's all right. Um, no, he did a special performance yesterday at Star Wars Celebration. And uh, um, he, I had heard a while back that he he came to them and said, look, nobody's doing Obi-Wan Kenobi's theme but me. <laughs> so, so, Right yeah. on. No, I don't That's think he did excellent. any of the other music in – in the series. I think he just did the theme. The theme. You know, but, you know, yeah. the maestro's getting up there in age, you know? That's right. And yeah, he, he can true. pick and choose his work all he wants. So. <laughs> yes, that is absolutely correct. Oh, my goodness. So, um, all right. Well, with that, we've given our scores, everybody. Uh, I know sometimes we say, well, let's see if we change our minds by the end we get to this. So are we going to change our minds and give it full tens across the board? (gasps) Let's find out. (laughs) Oh, bummer. I just saw my brother-in-law posted that the Blues are going home. So that means the Blues lost the playoffs. Ah, Bummer. Uh, Yeah, we're not talking about Blues. Roger, how dare you? (laughs) We're not talking about Blues. We're talking Star Wars. I'm just kidding. I'm messing with you, Roger. So. All right. Well, uh, Delioso, where would you like to begin? We we talked briefly about the the opening, which I loved. It's a, a fantastic recap. Absolutely oh, fantastic. So good. So good. Um, let's talk about favorite parts. 
favorite parts. So we're not going to walk through <sighs> the the show or anything like that, or you know, try to give you synopsis of anything. It uh, my my biggest surprise. Let me start off. Okay. My biggest favorite surprise. My biggest favorite surprise. Yes. <laughs> biggest favorite surprise. Okay. Yes. Love yes. It. Was Leia Organa. Oh, man! As soon as she, as soon as we saw her, and she started talking, and just the things she says, her mannerisms, I went, "Yeah, that's Leia. That's her. Oh yep. my gosh, yep. we're seeing young Leia. I love it. Yeah, I, she's fantastic." Yep. Yeah, um, Brenda. Brenda, here's here's what Brenda says. I love, I love little, little Layla. Layla. <laughs> <laughs> little Layla is awesome. I mean, she was. She is sparky, spunky. Man. What's the word? You know, she's, she's the embodiment <laughs> of Carrie Spitfire. Fisher. Yeah. yeah yes. Definitely. Yeah. It, it it the reason it is my favorite surprise is it wasn't just a cameo because I thought oh they'll just do a cameo or something. Oh no, uh-uh. she had a huge part huge part in this story and and i was like you know that totally makes sense totally sure. makes sense sure. that if we're your, if you're gonna get obi-wan off tatooine yep this makes total sense i thought it was perfect just perfect storytelling oh it made i sense absolutely me. loved it it was fantastic and then we 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 almost got uh breaking bad in star wars too <laughs> I haven't seen Breaking Bad. Oh what my you gosh, you gotta watch Breaking Bad. Breaking Bad's awesome. <laughs> uh, well, we have the we have the sp- watch it. we have the Spice Lab, you know. Oh which, yes, uh, yes. I had flashbacks back to Breaking Bad, and I was wondering if we're getting Heisenberg in in uh, Star Wars, which I would have been thrilled. <laughs> 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 Not quite, but you know, it was definitely a Breaking Bad moment, and and I almost wanted the right whole. On. Uh, you don't want to sell me dust sticks. You want to go back home and rethink your life. I wanted that moment. I was expecting right. it when she, you know, because we get the girl that comes up and offers to sell him spice and everything. And yeah, I was just waiting for, for it. Free. Yeah, yeah. Well, all drug dealers give the first one for free, because after that it costs yeah. you. So, which actually used it to his advantage later. So, um, which was great. Which is really yeah, it was. Good. So I understand why. I understand story wise, but I so wanted him to look at her and go, "You don't want to sell me spice. You want to go home and rethink <laughs> you your life." Rethink your life. <laughs> <laughs> I so wanted that, but oh well, it's all right. That's uh, all right. That's all right. Oh yeah. Well, I... that was a good comment. Yes, a uh, great combo of Carrie Fisher and okay. Leia. And and Padme, yep, I agree. And Padme, yeah, yeah, yeah that was weird. <laughs> yeah, because it sure he, was. Even Obi Wan goes, "You remind me of someone." <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yes, I. Uh, she was so, very stubborn, uh, just like you. I'm not yeah. stubborn. <laughs> <laughs> oh my yeah, gosh! They did that really well. They did it really well. So my second. Most favorite surprise part was the very last scene of episode two. <laughs> very last scene of episode oh, two. Oh, we're going right to the end, huh? <laughs> Man, well, I mean, we're just kind of talking about our best, our favorite parts. But the we dark, can talk about the that dark a lord bit. himself. Yeah. Well, I mean, it, it was, but yeah, he wasn't in full glory, but yeah, it was the dark mm-hmm. lord himself, Darth Vader. Yes. It was a great tease. It was a great tease because here he was. He learned. Now we know the point where he learns that that Anakin Skywalker, Darth Vader, was still alive. Yeah, yeah. And that was great. And you saw the shock in his face, and then just still in in shock, sits there and he's like, Anakin, you know. And then, boop, you get the eyes that open right up. And it's like, oh, he's in the back of the tank. Oh. Uh, yeah. So. So, okay, I got a question for you. Yeah, yeah. So we go through mm-hmm. this every series that we've been through. Uh-huh, uh-huh. And, and, and every series you go, they should have done both episodes. They yeah. should have done the first episode <laughs> and the second episode. So, so tonight yes. we got one yep. and two. But I got to ask yes. you. Uh-huh. After you uh, watched one, did you feel that you had to have two right away? Mm-hmm. If, if if this would have dropped the way it originally was supposed to, 
and we would have only gotten mm-hmm. the first episode, would you have been upset? You know, at, at this moment, I'm sitting there trying to think about, okay, when did the first episode end? When did the second episode begin? First episode ends with Obi-Wan leaving Tatooine. Yeah. No, the the first one would have been fine. Yeah, cuz there was no he's... cliffhanger. We there knew was no cliffhanger. We knew exactly where he was going. We knew what we his knew... mission was. The, yeah, everything you knew what was the there. Plot was the whole Yeah, you knew what was happening. You knew what was going on and you knew the adventure. Okay. And it all made sense. It all made sense. Okay. All right. So, uh yeah, I uh this would've been a thing of they should have dropped two because the first one was so good. They had to give you a second one. <laughs> you just are not happy no matter what, are you? <laughs> no, I am glad they dropped two because, I mean, it was just, oh, it was so good. It was. So, so let me let me ask you, so is it every Wednesday or Friday where the new episodes come out? I think they're coming out on Fridays. I, I, okay. I think that's what they're doing. Um, sounds like Bummer. we might. Sounds like we might be doing Friday episodes for <laughs> For the next five weeks. <laughs> Friday night, late Friday night episodes. <laughs> Brenda, he always wants more. Yes, I'm never satisfied. It's a curse. Just It's saying. a curse. <laughs> well, as soon as that first one ended, I, I looked at Brenda and I'm like, okay, Stephen cannot tell me that th- this was not a satisfying episode. Because, I mean. It was a. Okay. It was. Okay. Because it, it set up the whole series. You found out what he was doing. I mean, we all knew he was on Tatooine, but how was he living? You got to see that, see some interaction. There were some fun little, you know, Easter eggs here and there. And then then you got introduced to a new, not a new character, oh, we but a, a new main character in Leia Organa. You oh, see okay, what I'm okay. saying? As a young Leia. Yeah. And, um, and then you got to, Jimmy Smith was back. Jimmy Smith was back, yes. That was great. Who else that is was... going to play Organa? I mean, come on. Right? <laughs> and he's yeah, fantastic. Was... He's a great actor. You know, mm-hmm. yeah, you're not gonna get anyone else to play that role. I, I don't right. I don't think I don't think Star Wars fans would be happy if you got somebody else to play that role. Yeah. I know I wouldn't have been happy if anyone else played that role. So yeah. you know. Mm-hmm. Anybody anybody I... could have played the mom because I didn't even remember her, but <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> yeah, sorry. <laughs> but him. Megan, were you going to say something? Yeah, Google says the release dates for the rest of them are Wednesdays. Oh, <laughs> really? Yeah. yeah. June 1st, thanks. I don't June 1st, June 8th, June 15th, and June 22nd. Well, darn. I prefer it on Fridays. <laughs> I wonder if they <laughs> just did that for celebration. Possible. I'll bet I, you that's what they did. I bet you they did. You know, because celebrations. Yeah, I almost, is... I almost texted you last night because Star Wars Theory dropped. I, I get notifications for Star Wars Theory, right. and he dropped. They released it early. Oh, really? What time did they release it? It would have been um, eleven o'clock your time. Oh, wow! It was three hours early. <laughs> um, I was in bed, dude. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, I, that's why I didn't text you. I was like, ah, it's 11 o'clock. I, I mean, know, I, man, it's, it would have been fine if you would have texted me. I just wouldn't have answered because I wouldn't have heard it. So, <laughs> yeah, <laughs> that's all. <laughs> now, I have loads of questions for you tonight. So, um, about this, uh, but I, but I, I well, still want to hear more stuff about you. What are some favorite parts you had? Uh, well, first of all, one of my favorite parts was in 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 the uh, trailers, unfortunately, because I I love when he goes to uh, uh, Uncle Owen and he says, "We talked about this. The, when the time comes, the boy must be trained." And Uncle Owen looks at him and says, "You mean like you trained his father?" <laughs> You know, right. I I absolutely love that. That that was that was fantastic. Um, but again, yeah. that was in the trailers. We all knew that was coming. You know, but it's such a it's such a good scene though. Um, mm-hmm. I like that. I, I I love Leia. I thought she was fantastic. I mean, Leia mm-hmm. was such a surprise because I didn't I didn't expect. I mean, I was expecting to see Leia, but I wasn't expecting mm-hmm. to get that big a part from her. Mm-hmm. And that mm-hmm. satisfying apart from her, because it was just, I mean, it was perfect, you know. Um, 
I think if Carrie Fisher was still alive, I think Carrie Fisher would have loved her. Uh, you mm-hmm. know, I think she would approve yeah. of her highly. Um, yeah. So, yeah, loved her. I thought she was great. Um, I like the Inquisitors. Um, I like the new Inquisitor Re- Reva, um, but she needs to be taken down a notch. <laughs> she she's she's a little too uh cocky. I I want to see her taken down. Right. You know. There's there's got to be a story there. There's going to be something that comes up of why she hates oh, Yeah, Darth so Vader's going to kill her. That's what's going to happen. <laughs> yeah, probably. Still. Now. Now, I want to talk about that a minute. So, ever since the trailer's dropped, we've had fan yeah. fans everywhere who've been complaining about the Grand Inquisitor. He doesn't look like he does in the cartoons. He doesn't look like the his his race in in episode three. Yes, you're right. He doesn't look like the cartoons. Yes, you're right. He doesn't look like cor- corduroy head in, in episode three. I'm not sure, mm-hmm. I agree. Mm-hmm. I agree. Mm-hmm. No problem. Right. But and, I kept. And the other complaint was the actor didn't watch any of the. Yeah, well, any of the rebels. I, and you stuff, know, so. I had agreed with that, but I thought he did a great job. I, I really did. I, yeah, agreed. Now yeah, I thought he did. Yes. Now, when they all, they, when everyone was complaining, my thought was, "What are you complaining about? He's an inquisitor. He's gonna die." <laughs> Although, <laughs> I got his death wrong because I figured he'd go all the way through Kenobi, and I figured Vader's gonna slaughter all the all the inquisitors. I still think Vader's going to kill the Inquisitors because Vader doesn't like yeah. the Inquisitors because the he Inquisitors like are are a challenge to him and his place mm-hmm. with the Emperor. And mm-hmm. he isn't going to let him, himself be challenged, and he's going to take them out because there's going to come a point where he doesn't need them anymore, and he's going to go, mm-hmm. you guys are worthless to me. Bye-bye. <laughs> And we all know yeah. what Vader does. Vader doesn't just fire people; he kills them. So, mm-hmm. you know. Um, mm-hmm. So my thought was, okay. the, the Grand Inquisitor would be killed by Vader. So, um, that being said, yeah. <laughs> that being said, Reva kills him. So, I mean, I was shocked. I, I, I was, was shocked, shocked too. I didn't expect it so soon. I would have liked to seen him a little bit longer. Um, cause I liked him. I thought he was good. I, I, mm-hmm. I actually enjoyed him. Mm-hmm. Excuse me. Well, Angie's asking us, do we know what time it is? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Normally it's bedtime. <laughs> yeah. We're about 12 hours early. <laughs> Don't worry. We'll be on in the morning too. So <laughs> that's right. <laughs> we, we got an episode with Theron tomorrow morning. So, but we, yeah. we also got friends yeah. in town tomorrow. So this is kind of good that you want to do this tonight. So, um, yeah, same here. We've got some stuff that's going on too. So, uh, yeah. Uh, <laughs> and you said I woke up to Mike's text. <laughs> I texted her and told her we were going live. <laughs> Sorry, Angie, that's I didn't mean funny. to wake you up. <laughs> Dang. Yep. Okay. Um, but Your no, wife, those. Brenda, it's funny. She says it was like waiting for Christmas. We couldn't wait to talk about it. Oh gosh. <laughs> um. Yeah. I. I, I got to say I. I think this series is fantastic. I, I am so excited to see where it goes. Um, yeah, and what happens from here. I mean, I mean, obviously we know Obi Wan can't die. Leia and Luke can't die. We, you know, we right. know they're they're staples. Right. That's not going to happen. But uh, it's just that story it's in the between. Journey. Yeah, it's the journey. It's this journey. Yeah, I'm yeah. I'm so so looking forward. Now I, I have to say I was a little concerned. When Leia kept asking him who he was, because I'm like, he can't really reveal himself to her, because mm-hmm. you know when when we when we see Leia in A New Hope, and she's searching for Obi Wan, to me, I always felt that she had never met him, you know, mm. and and I think this is fine as long as it's not really revealed exactly who he is you know um yeah i would say the way i'd have to go back to that message because my first thought was oh this is kind of neat so this is makes more sense oh obi-wan you're my only hope but i forgot that the message is years ago you helped my father Father in the clone Wars. you know kind of a thing you served my father in the clone wars yep 
Yep. Yes. Yeah. So, yeah, good call. Good call. So, I mean, just, just by that message alone, it seemed to me like she at least felt she had never met him. You know, mm-hmm. and I, I think she's still young mm-hmm. enough that, um, I mean, I'm sure this this is something that would stick out in her mind, especially as a 10-year-old, but not necessarily his name. You know what I mean? Um, mm-hmm. it, it, you know, as long as it's not, like, brought up again afterwards, this is like a one-time event, It you know, this is it. And then years down the line, you know, she, oh, yeah, this this Jedi saved me, you know, rescued me from, from these kidnappers. Oh, kidnappers. Almost forgot. We had a special guest as a kidnapper. Yeah, who was that? I, c- I couldn't think of who it was. That's Flea from the Red Hot Chili Peppers, man. <laughs> as soon as he came on That's screen, funny. I went, That's Flea! <laughs> That's flea, That's man. That's funny. <laughs> and and you know it's funny because in uh, Boba Fett, I, I forget the guy's name, but the guy who who is the modder, you know, he's the one that did all the modifications. Mm-hmm. He's yeah. some kind of big, uh, famous musician. I don't know today's music as much, um, but uh, yeah, he he and he's a bass player too, and Flea's a bass player. So I don't know what this all of a sudden this fascination with Star Wars and bass players are. But I'm like, well, who, who are we getting in the next series, you know? <laughs> right. <laughs> yeah, and then, um, uh, oh, man, there's so much to talk about. I got so much swirling in my head. Oh, gosh. Um, who was the other guy? The other guy who played the fake Jedi. Was that Kumar? The fake Jedi? Yeah. What's his name? Um, I don't know. I I didn't I don't I recognized him. I was trying to think. What, <laughs> what are you laughing at? Oh, okay. uh, Brenda, Brenda said Gene Simmons, <laughs> next <laughs> bass player. <laughs> he is a bass player. He's a bass player. I, I would take that. Um, so uh, Kamal, oh gosh, so much, so much. Megan, sorry. Go ahead. Uh, Kamal Nanjani. I don't know. How to pronounce it? What? Well, yeah. What's other stuff that he's been in? Um, he's in Jeez, the boys. Dude. Um, that. I think that's. Oh, that's just one episode. Before we went live, right. I went and looked up uh, Leia, and um, young Leia, little Leia, and I can't find my other browser. Um. But uh, she's played in. She was in Bird Box, in the movie Bird Box. I did not oh see Bird Box. Bird was Box she, is pretty good. She was the girl. Yeah. She was girl. Yeah, yeah. She was girl in Bird Box. Wow. Right. Yeah. She was girl. Because right. I was like, every time she was on screen, I'm like, she doesn't seem like she's ten. She seems younger. Yes, Angie. He yeah. was in Eternals. So I I, I immortals, looked her immortals or eternals 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 eternals. So he was in eternals. That's where okay. I saw him. Okay. Um, I I didn't watch eternals. I don't so. think he he wasn't one of the one of the eternals. I don't think. Yeah, he was. I don't know. I don't know. Yeah. But uh, I looked up little Layla, 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 little Leia. Now I can't even say that. Uh, because <laughs> I was like, she doesn't look like she's ten. She looks younger. And sure enough, she's nine years old. <laughs> so I was like, "Oh, okay. Yeah. I guess I can't." Well, complain she's that. carrying herself like uh, beyond <laughs> being ten. <laughs> I loved when uh, Obi Wan goes, "How old are you anyway?" I'm ten. Right. You don't seem like you're ten. <laughs> 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 oh, yep, she was just yep, great. Yep, yep. Now I hope we get some some moments with Luke. I hope we get more than just him. You know, just watching him from afar. Mm-hmm. I, from I, hope, far I hope we get some yeah. close-up moments like we did with Le- Leia. Because um, mm-hmm. I, I want to see young Luke, too. I, I want to see him. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I guess his life isn't as exciting. <laughs> right. <laughs> Hers is a little right. more exciting. Now, I, I did love how they showed the contrast between the two, too. You know, we've seen her mm-hmm. living in luxury you know, being all mm-hmm. primped up and, and all that. Mm-hmm. And then, you know, but, but he seems 
very happy go lucky, you know, even though he's just this poor kid on this crappy planet right. that everybody in the universe seems to go to. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> All right. <laughs> It is a destination spot, by golly. <laughs> I don't I don't know exactly where we are. Well, if there's a bright center to the universe, you're as far you're, you're as far from it as you can get or can I get. forget exactly the line. <laughs> you know, and, yeah. and we always thought Tatooine was just, you know, this this no nowhere place. And here it's like now, what, 40 years later, 45 years, 45 years today. uh, This year was the 45th anniversary of the original Star Wars. Yeah, 45 years old. Man, we're getting old. Um, Mm -hmm. But, yeah, 45 years later, here we are, and everybody goes to Tatooine. (laughs) Yeah. Seems to be a destination (laughs) place. Gosh. Right? Right. It's like Florida, man. (laughs) Now, they, they introduced one a couple of things they did, and I, this is one of the questions I want to ask you. In the prelude, the recap. Oh, no, shut up, Angie. Was, <laughs> one of the last things she stated was about, yeah, 10 years before I was born. Yeah, thanks, Angie. <laughs> um, one of the last things stated was the... I'm going to teach you to commune with him, your old master. And then later yes. on here, you see, you, you see him trying to talk to Qui Gon, you know, kind of a thing, and nothing's happening. Do you think we're going to see? Qui-Gon I think on at I, some point in the series, we're either going to see him or we're going to hear him. Um, because what's the point okay. of putting that in the recap? I thought the same thing. Yes, uh, everything has a purpose, at least in Star Wars. And mm-hmm. I don't think they would have put that in a recap had there not been plans for that to be somewhere in the series. It it may not be long, you know, because, I mean, heck, we only got four or five episodes to go. Six episodes, right? So Yeah, six. So we only have four more episodes. We already got mm-hmm. two down. So, mm-hmm. um, so yeah, I, I think at some point we're either going to see Qui-Gon or at least hear him, which I'm... I'm looking forward to. I'm for it. Mm-hmm. I also believe that we are going to get some flashback moments, some scenes, you know, something we have not seen before with Anakin and Obi Wan Kenobi. Because mm-hmm. I am still adamant mm-hmm. you don't bring back Hayden Christensen just to stick him inside the suit, or for that matter, to see his top part of his face in the band. Uh, back, back to tank. Back to tank. Uh, I'm yeah. sorry. You could have put anybody else in the back to tank, and you can put anybody in that suit, and it ain't going to make mm. a difference. You bring, you go back and get Hayden Christensen because you want Anakin to make an appearance. So I believe mm. at some point we're also going to get Anakin without the Darth Vader suit. Mm-hmm. It'll be, you know, mm-hmm. it'll be a flashback moment, something maybe to the Clone Wars. Oh man, I hope we get a live action shot of Obi Wan in his Clone War armor. Clone oh. Wars regalia. Oh my gosh. Oh, I want that so bad. And I want an action figure. That, w- <laughs> that would be good. That would be good. Um, I, hang on a second. Uh, I, I've got to write some notes down because there's some things I want to talk about, but, but I, I want to stay on topic here. Do you think. Um, remember, okay, in the. Ooh, ooh. sequel that shall not be named the sequel that <laughs> shall not you know be named sure is there's that whole force projection thing what if the two of them did a force projection to have a discussion oh god please no <laughs> <laughs> okay that's enough of that i won't let's, say anything let's else. throw that crap out <laughs> i don't even i don't even want to see any more of that force projection crap uh, i hate that stuff <laughs> No force time. Right. No force time. Force time does not exist as far as I'm concerned. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry. I just, it, it was a cop out. It was lazy story writing. And that's all I'm going to say about that. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I'm going to move on. I'm going to move on. Uh, okay. We, we we did get a moment. We got a clone trooper. Yes. I wrote that down. That was one thing. And I, I think it was tomorrow. Morrison. Got to hear. Do what? I think it was tomorrow. Morrison. 
I think so too. I didn't watch the credits. I was too. I didn't either. I didn't either. It's not credited on IMDb. Yeah, they're not going to. It figures. It figures. Uh, Yeah. I'll have to go back and check the credits and see if it is, but it sounded like him. It really sounded like him. And I kept looking at him. Yeah, I'm like, boy, I I can't tell if it's him or not with the, you know, with the full beard. And yeah, I was just like, I don't know, man. But I hope it was him. I, 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 I want it to be him. And I think yeah. we're gonna get, I think we're gonna get a couple other clone troopers. Only we're gonna get like regular, you know, clone clone troopers in their full, you know, glory. Um, mm-hmm. Which is another reason I think we're getting flashbacks because there okay. were a couple clone troopers in one of the trailers too. So, mm-hmm. oh, I have to go back and watch the trailers. Yep, yep. Now that we've seen this episode, watch Emergency of Awesome. He points it out. <laughs> Do you think that he was one of the five first? Repeat that. You kind of went the... funky. Oh, sorry, 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 sorry. Yeah, you glitched out, so I couldn't hear you. Oh, I'm glitching for some reason. Why am I glitching? I don't know. Yeah, or you're kind of glitching too. Maybe, maybe resources are pulling on my yeah. system. Uh, we're we're getting slow internet here for some reason it looks like it's fine but i don't know i don't know what's going on okay gotcha um so i um do you think that that was a member of the 501st i uh see i almost thought it was rex but then I really yeah it couldn't be rex though because rex rex would recognize kenobi yeah. Mm-hmm. I I thought it was Rex because it was, you know, the blue markings on it. It just, you know, seemed like it was Rex. Right. Um I mean, it could be Rex cuz we know Rex survives. Um so I don't know. I don't know. Um so if it's Rex then well, technically I don't think Rex was part of the 501st. I don't remember. I don't I don't know. I, yeah. I, I have It'd no be idea. Cool. It would be cool. It was funny to see the contrast between him being the old clone trooper, and then in the same scene we see bright and shiny new stormtroopers. Yes, that I did not pick up on that. That's good. Yeah, I thought that was a nice contrast between the two. You know, because you you saw the old, and then you saw the new guard. You know. Yep. <laughs> Granted, mm-hmm. uh, there's a special place in my heart for the clone troopers. I absolutely love the cor- clone troopers. Now, I love the stormtroopers too because you know that's what we grew yeah. up with. I mean, heck, my t-shirt's got Darth Vader and stormtroopers on it. I love it. But there's it. there's always going to be a special place in my heart for clone troopers. I, I think they're they're awesome. So, yeah, mm-hmm. it's it's cool. It's real cool. Yep. Oh, yeah. So I, that's, I, I'm glad you brought that up. Now, one of the things I really enjoyed about these two episodes is it did not mince storytelling. In other words, it was a great pace moving yeah. on, moving on. I was like, oh, my goodness, he already found her. You know, he already <laughs> found Leia. Obi-Wan already found Leia. Dude, I love this. They don't have don't time to waste in this series, man. There's that's only true. six episodes. So this has got to move. And I think that's the way it's going to be all the way through it, which I'm fine mm-hmm. with. I, you know, mm-hmm. I, I like the fast pace of it. It's nice. It, it's really, yeah. really good. Um, mm-hmm. And, and you're still mm-hmm. getting good storytelling in, into it also. Yep. Mm-hmm. Yep. Means you can't. Oh, what are you thinking of the Angie- new city? I loved it. I loved the new city. Yeah. Angie just asked what we thought of the new city. Um, yes. Yeah. I, I love seeing Alderaan. Because yep. we we've really never gotten to see Alderaan like that. Mm-hmm. Looks fantastic. Looks beautiful. I want to go visit yeah. it. The whole time I kept saying, telling myself, "Well, in about eight years, it won't." Well, yeah, anymore. yeah. I want to go visit it before <laughs> before uh, <laughs> before the, the uh, Grand Moff Tarkin destroys it. <laughs> right. <laughs> yeah. When when uh, her dad keeps telling her how how great a senator she's going to become one day and all this stuff, and I'm going. 
Yeah, but she's also kind of, in a backwards way, responsible for the destruction of your planet, too. <laughs> uh, so, yeah, her cousin Oops. may, her cousin's probably not going to survive more than another 10 years. <laughs> <laughs> it was all because of the cousin. <laughs> yeah. He's a jerk, by the way. Um, right. When, right. When her dad said, "You you need to apologize," I wanted. I I looked at Brenda and said, "No, she needed to kick him in the nuts." <laughs> <laughs> That's what she needed to do. Right. He was a snot. Oh, I didn't like that kid. <laughs> yep. Hey, take uh uh talk about something um uh. Another part of your favorite parts. Let me step out a second because I'm wondering if that's why I'm jumpy or something's going on in in the audio went okay. weird. So I'll be right back. Just a moment. Okay. Well, so uh, favorite parts, man. Um, man, it's so hard because this 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 whole thing was really good. Um, like I said, I, I loved Obi Wan. I loved the way he looks in this. Um, and there's that transition between the young Obi-Wan that we know and, and to that Alec Guinness looking, you know, point. I absolutely just love the way he looks. I, I am really, really happy with, with what they've done with his look so far. Absolutely. Yeah, perfect transition between the, the, yes. the two different types of Obi-Wan Kenobi's. Um, mm-hmm. now if we could just get general, general, a live action, general Kenobi, in in the Clone War, uh, clone armor, you'd be happy, oh, man. <laughs> I'd be in Star Wars heaven. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah, yeah, yeah. That's a good point too. Um, yes, I, I knew that uh, it was the same actor playing him. It's actually the same actors playing Owen, and the same actor is playing uh, Emperor too. So they they got the same ones back. I'm very happy about that. And I'm sure Very those cool. those actors are thrilled. <laughs> the right. internet claims that the um, veteran trooper is Tamora Morrison. I think it is. I think it is. I think so. And and the internet can't lie, right? Bonjour. <laughs> <laughs> I did say claims. I know you did. I I think he's just credited as a veteran. Tr- well, that's like that. that's what he said. He said, uh, "Can can you spare some change for a veteran?" Mm-hmm. You know, so I I would have gave him some change. <laughs> <laughs> I would have too. By golly, <laughs> he he helped protect the people for a long time. So you know, mm-hmm. um, of course mm-hmm. they they all turned on everybody. But <laughs> oh yeah, we got that moment too. We got the we we got another portion of Order sixty six when they were uh, attacking <gasps> right. attacking uh, uh, Padawans. Yep, we did. Yep. We I was did. like, "Oh, please don't show it! Please don't show them killing Padawans! I, I can't handle that! Don't do it! Don't do it!" Well, we we didn't see them actually kill them, so I mean, they're they're pretty good with that. Um, but we yep. didn't see Grogu. <laughs> I mean, there's part of me right. that expected to see Grogu somewhere, you know, or at uh-huh. least a glimpse of him. Maybe we could have seen his ear somewhere or something, you know? Because <laughs> we know he's there. We know he was there when it happened. We saw right. it in his he memories. Was. So where was Grogu? He was. Where is he? Where? Where's, okay, so where's sweet baby Yoda? Yeah. <laughs> Where is he? So I am checking. Uh, is am I frozen on your screen? You keep freezing up. Um, yeah, actually, right now. Oh, yeah, yeah. You keep yeah, freezing okay. up on me. So those who are watching, I apologize for the uh, the. I'm um, hearing you though. Yeah, I can hear you. You guys are frozen up on mine. So, so I'm gonna turn down. I'm I'm checking it on the Facebook page to kind of see how it may be looking. Oh yeah, I'm totally frozen up. <laughs> yeah, you are now, for sure. <laughs> but I still hear you, so. Okay, cool. Thanks. All right. Well, okay. So, uh other other points you you really like, other things that you really enjoyed. Um I mean, you know, I I I like Kenobi, I like Leia. Um I enjoyed the Inquisitors. 
uh, I, oh, I liked uh, uh, when we were seeing um, kind of his day job <laughs> where he's working yeah. at the, the meat plant. Yeah, yeah, meat plant, being a meat cutter, yes. Yeah. And he, he steals a little piece of meat every day. Yep. I Does mean, he give, but he gives that to his uh, his camel Yobi. thing. Oh, you know he's well. He, does he give the whole thing to the EOP? It's just a little small know. cube. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Another thing. So when when this opens up, and the Inquisitors, when they they show up at the the cantina, not the cantina, but a cantina mm-hmm. there. There's a moment. Mm, excuse me. When Reva is walking around and she's talking and saying how, you know, there, there's, there's a story of a Jedi. He could have even walked into here, and and then protected you and and all this stuff. And the story she was telling, almost, uh-huh. almost matched what happened in the Kenobi novel. Oh yeah, yeah. Okay. There, there's a, a a scene in the Kenobi novel. Now it's not at a cantina, um, or maybe it was at a cantina. Actually, I think it was. Yeah, um, where the cantina gets attacked. I think it get, gets attacked by Tusken Raiders, and okay. Obi Wan basically fights them off, but he kind of makes it look. Like he's not doing anything, so he's using the force, and oh. <laughs> and one of the pa- patrons uh, who's drunk um, sees it and kind of thinks, "Wait a minute, what did he just do?" You know, and then right. the, then he starts taking credit for everything Obi Wan did. <laughs> <laughs> but when she started telling the story, I was just like, "Wow, that almost sounds like." the Kenobi novel, but we find out that the Jedi she she was referring to at that moment wasn't Kenobi, it was the the other guy that, you know, was hiding. Oh, and speaking uh, of that, the the uh fake Jedi, uh what was his name? Um Kamal. Kamal. Kamal is a uh, is it Kamal? Kamal I think that's the actor's name, wasn't it? No, I want his. I want his Star Wars name. What was his Star Wars name? It, it, Cause oh shoot, I don't remember what it was. Anyway, I called it right away. I'm like, he ain't no Jedi. He's faking it. He he's he's scamming him. And, and sure enough, he was. <laughs> and and Obi Wan knew it too. <laughs> <laughs> yep. Yeah, I like how they did that. Yes. And I wanted Obi-Wan to kick his butt. <laughs> <laughs> Although I did find it funny that Obi-Wan pulled a blaster on him cuz after all, you right. know, you know, blasters are so uncivilized. <laughs> <laughs> <You're> right. <laughs> I'm gonna get in every oh, every cliche Obi Wan line I can possibly get in <laughs> through this whole time. <laughs> I love it. I love it. All right, I'm gonna I'm gonna I'm gonna see if I can go out and then come back in. See if All that right. doesn't fix the camera here. Hang tight. All right. Well, Steven's going out again. Well, we seem to be having a lot of internet issues lately. Um, at least we don't have power outages like we did last Saturday. That was a lot of fun. Um, so if you guys uh, listen to our episode that dropped today, you can hear all the fun we had with uh, internet problems and power outages and me calling in, uh, calling Stephen on the phone and, and, and phoning it in for about 30 minutes, I think it was. Uh, so, so far it's better than that, though. You back? Yeah. Hey, I'm back. But it's still kind of slow. <laughs> it's still choppy. It? Well, we got your we got your voice. That's that's the biggest thing, at least. Cool. All right. Well, thank you. So sorry. <laughs> we need the that. Geek Squad. <laughs> <laughs> they don't know anything. Mom said the fake <laughs> Jedi's name was Hookah. 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 Well, Hookah, Hookah. was a liar. <laughs> <laughs> 
hookah was full of coo- coo- <laughs> Yeah, he sure <laughs> was. Something. And Angie thought, asked uh, what you thought of the music. Do what? Angie asked, what did you think of the music? You know, uh, um, the music didn't stand out as much uh, this ep- these two episodes. Um, I mean, you know, really? yeah, I, I didn't think it stood out as much as most Star Wars, um, you know. I... The, well, I thought the music in the recap was great. Well, of course. It you matched get... and stuff. It was fantastic. It was a great lead-in. I think the music in this one went so well with the story, it just flowed with it. So it wasn't as outstanding or taking away from the scenes. It was almost another character within well, now, the show. Okay, first of all, S- Star Wars soundtracks never take away from the th- the scene. Never. Um after all, uh, Jimmy Mack of Rebel Force Radio, he he coined yep. this. He coined this phrase: uh, "The music, the soundtracks, are the oxygen of Star Wars." In fact, he he Ooh. had a series he called "Star Wars Oxygen," which was a fantastic series, by the way. Um, and they broke down just about every so- uh, Star Wars soundtrack out there, and it was just fantastic. Ooh, great, great episodes. Very cool. Yeah. Um, but, um, yeah, every, every soundtrack enhances the movies and, and, and everything. Um, but I, it didn't stand out a lot to me. I didn't, like you said, I guess it, it just blended in so much. I don't really remember it. So, but, but what? But yeah, after watching it, you were like, they need to drop the soundtrack. Well, I mean, I want the soundtrack. I mean, cause first of all, like I said, you know, uh, um, the maestro did did the Kenobi theme, so I want that. Mm-hmm. I mean, I'm gonna go back and listen to the soundtrack as soon as it drops. I, I listen to every Star Wars soundtrack. There isn't a Star Wars soundtrack I haven't listened to, at least not that I know of, anyway. Um, Has it? Uh, that's a good question. Here, let me see. Let me check good old Spotify and see. That's if a the good Kenobi question. Trailer. That one's for Roger. What did you say? I said that's a good question. That one's for Roger <laughs> if he's still watching. Uh, He'll laugh at that. Every time you say that, that makes me think of somebody. So, yeah, a former coworker I had. She was Japanese, and she one time said to us, "That's a good question." Right. <laughs> um, there we go. <laughs> to be to be honest with you, I don't know if it's on here or not because everyone's trying to do their own little Obi Wan Kenobi quote unquote official whatever. What are you looking for? <laughs> on Spotify. I was looking on Spotify oh, to see if Yeah, I don't think the soundtrack's Obi- dropped yet. If they follow the same uh format they did for Boba Fett, it probably won't drop until close to the last episode. Um, okay. That, that's what they did for Boba Fett. Now, uh, Mandalorian, they did. They dropped it, I think, after the first episode. Um, so I, I don't know when they're going to drop this one. It'll drop sometime. It'll drop in the next few weeks. But mm-hmm. I was at least hoping to get the single for for the Obi Wan Kenobi theme, and that still hasn't even dropped. And, and um, like I said. Uh, they performed it live at Celebration yesterday, so I'm no, surprised. I don't, I don't know why they didn't just drop it when they, you know, it's like, well, they knew he was going to be performing it. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> why wouldn't you yeah. at least drop the the uh, single? You know. Yeah. So, I don't know. I don't know how their music. Uh, I don't know how that works, but. Yeah. I'll be you know, listening it's been kind to of. It. It's been kind of fun to see on Facebook some of our friends we've had on the show are are there and. Uh, Mark Thompson. It was in yeah, He was yeah. at one of the panels. Yeah, I know. I know. I want to get. All. I want to get Mark back on and talk about that. I, I, I'd yeah. Like to get him on. Oh, we'd love to hear about your Star Wars experience and stuff. It oh, and, and oh, yeah. That was the other thing I wanted to talk about. So they mm-hmm. had the the uh, Attack of the Clones panel because, like I said, it's the twentieth anniversary of Attack of the Clones. Um, yeah. Ash, Ashley Eckstein got to. Uh, Host that, which I thought was super cool, because after all, she's the original Ahsoka. Ahsoka. Yeah, she's mm-hmm. the voice of Ahsoka, and um, she had Ben Burt up there, and Ben Burt was uh, 
uh, or not Ben Burt, he, Matt Matt Wood. Matt Wood kind of followed up Ben Burt. Ben Burt is the original sound designer for Star Wars and just a freaking genius. And Ben mm-hmm. Burt is almost as much of a genius as, or, or uh, Matt Wood is almost as, as much a genius as he is. But they had him. They had Doug Chang, who was one of the original designers on the prequels, and he talked about his designs and and she asked him if he did uh more digital work and he says actually I started off with pen and paper that's the <laughs> that's the way I started off or pencil and paper that's the way I started Very off cool. the, the prequel so I was like that's really super cool um and then uh another guy I didn't know but then they had Tamara Morrison and uh Daniel Logan so we had young Boba Fett and Django Fett, who is now Boba Fett. And, <laughs> oh, my gosh, Tamara Morrison is so funny. Oh, he's so he? good. He, he, was, he was telling all kinds of great stories. And, and, uh, and it was so funny because she, she, she talked to him first. And he he just went off on these great stories, right? And then Daniel Logan's like, oh, yeah, you have me follow this guy. How am I supposed to top that? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> and then Daniel starts talking about. She asked him about the moment when, uh, with w- you know, where he's holding uh, Django's helmet, you know, after Django gets his head mm-hmm. cut off by Mace Windu. Yeah, and, yeah, yeah. And 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 Daniel's like, he goes, yeah. He says, when that happened, I I, I didn't really know what was going on. You know, George told me, okay, I want you to come in. I want you to kneel down, hold the helmet, and then kind of put your head to it and stuff. And uh and Daniel's like, okay, you know, he's like, I don't know what I don't know what's going on here. And I do it and everything. He's like, I didn't know till the film was released that Django gets his head cut off. And he goes, I'm in the theater watching it and everybody's like, ooh and he's going, Yeah <laughs> <laughs> He goes, my thought was, okay, well, this guy dies, but that means that I get to go on to episode three, right? Mm-hmm. <laughs> and he's mm-hmm. like, and then I didn't get to come back. But yet he gets to come back as all the clones. <laughs> yep, yep. Uh, Angie is asking, is this on YouTube? Angie, oh, yeah. yes. yes. Uh, if yeah, you go is. to the official Star Wars YouTube page, they're they're doing the live streams, so you can catch those. It's usually about one noon to between noon and two they start um but you can catch all the you, you know the they they cut the stream and do the bite size chunk stuff on on youtube as well so yeah that's how that's how i'm catching some of the stuff i did thursday yesterday i did i can't believe that was yesterday i i did stream some of it while i was working yeah um, I, today, I, watched, I, didn't get, I just didn't get a chance to do it i watched a little bit of the playback yesterday after i got home from work and i did the same today that's how I caught mm-hmm. a couple of those panels to this afternoon and stuff. But mm-hmm. um, Ashley did have a moment. I, I had a Kevin Smith moment with, with Ashley because after she interviewed everybody on stage, she makes the comment. Uh, she goes, well, it's too bad that we don't have Ewan McGregor and Christian Hayden. Oh, wait a minute. But we do because, of course, they're there. You know, right. so then the two of them come out on stage and everybody ah, just goes insane, yeah. you know. And um, so, again, uh, Ashley Eckstein was the original voice of Ahsoka, which Ahsoka has become one of my favorite Star Wars characters. I love Ahsoka. Mm-hmm. Now, and you when, did not like her in you're the right, beginning. You were absolutely right. In the beginning, I did not like her. Um, and I hated a particular line that she used to say for seasons one and two. I think by three she finally stopped saying it. But she kept calling Anakin Sky Guy, and he kept calling mm. her Snips. And yeah. I was just like, oh, God, I hate this. It's just so stupid and cheesy. I just dropped the Sky Guy, Sky Guy and Snips crap. And, and Oh, and she called R2 R2-y. Oh, I hated right. it. I just Those things I hated. They were annoying. But mm-hmm. Hayden Christensen walks on stage. And you know she didn't. She never met Hayden. She didn't work with him. Her Anakin was Matt Lander, who was who was, who oh, was fan, right. who was fantastic as Anakin, by the way. And mm-hmm. and and Hayden mm-hmm. has has recently stated 
he has went back and watched several of the Clone Wars cartoons to prepare for Obi-Wan Kenobi. See, even Hayden Christensen, who did play Anakin Skywalker, went back and watched uh, Clone Wars, watched his character, even though Rupert Friend didn't want to go watch his character. Anyway, I digress. Right. <laughs> but That's right. He got killed in the second episode. That's true. So, that's true. Right. Know. Which I kept or saying he's, he's, he's going to die anyway. Yeah, what? Yeah. Oh, <laughs> uh, he's dead. He ain't coming back like Darth Maul. <laughs> If, if he comes back with spider legs, I'm done. <laughs> I do, but if this guy comes back with spider legs, that's just ridiculous. <laughs> anyway, anyway, Hayden Christensen walks on the stage, and Ashley Eckstein looks at him and says, It's nice to meet you, Sky Guy. And I teared up. I was like, Oh. <laughs> What a great oh. moment. That's just awesome. I loved it. Yeah. I loved yeah. It. Yeah. I'm glad they had that moment. That sounds great. Yeah, I'm going to have to check that out on the YouTube. Yeah, look it up. It was, it was a cool moment. It was really cool. Yeah. <clears throat> oh, man. You, you know, it's kind of neat. I, I mean, we've take, we're talking about Kenobi, but we're kind of – it's all culminating in this whole weekend. It's a whole Star well, Wars Well, yeah, it's weekend. a whole time. You know, it's the Star Wars celebration. We, you know, we we, we got to co- cover some of that stuff. So, yeah. oh, well, yeah. speaking of that, since we're covering that anyway, mm-hmm. did you see the trailer for, um, uh, yeah, uh, what's his name? <laughs> From Rogue One. Yeah. Uh, Oh, Andor. Andor, the Andor, Andor trailer. Yeah, yes, you see the, the Andor, Andor trailer. trailer looks really good. I, I okay. I, I was not interested in seeing it, but I saw the trailer and I thought I'll give it a shot then. Um, I, you know, ever since they announced it, I've been back and forth on it. You know, I'm like, mm-hmm. eh, he's he's, they can tell some interesting stories. Um, mm-hmm. the one story I want to see, I don't think they're going to tell though. At least not in season one, because I. I think it was announced we're only getting two seasons of Andor, which is fine. Um but I don't I don't think in season one we're getting the story of K2SO. And that's the story I want. You know, I, I want to know how mm. K2 um you know how he converts K2 from works. an Imperial droid over to uh, mm. the rebellion. So um mm. that's the story I really want. <laughs> Angie says who's that? <laughs> <laughs> I don't know if she's asking who's that for Andor or K2SO. Um they were right. the, they were the main characters in Rogue One. So go back and watch Rogue yeah. One. Rogue One is a great movie by the way. It really is. I think oh, K2 is, is one good. of your favorite droids. Oh, K2 is fantastic. He, I, I do love K2. <laughs> yeah. He he's definitely one of the best droids. I I love him. But he's also uh what's his face? Um Ash from from uh Firefly. Yeah, I can't think of the actors. Alan Tudyk. What? Yeah, Alan Tudyk. Alan Tudyk. Alan Tudyk. And Alan Tudyk's fantastic. <laughs> oh, right. he does. Yep. Yes, K two S O was the sarcastic one. <laughs> <laughs> He's the one that slaps the Andor and then goes, and there's another one coming <laughs> where that came from, <laughs> <laughs> which is a great scene. Yeah. Well, I tell you what, um, I I, I got to round this out. The Kenobi it was just fantastic. Oh gosh, am I going to watch it again? Absolutely. Uh, I Absolutely. was rewatching it as I was waiting for you to go live. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it, it was so what good. Did you hope to see out of what's coming up in the next four episodes? Well, obviously, we're getting a rematch with. Vader and and uh, Obi Wan, which I'm looking forward to. Mm. Uh, so I, I want to see the rematch, or I don't know if you call it a rematch, but whatever. I want to see that. That's mm. coming. The fight. Yeah. I, to see them on together on screen again. Yes, yes, because yeah. we we know it's going to happen. But yeah. I'm I'm hoping for some flashbacks with Anakin and Obi Wan back to the Clone Wars. I'd like to see mm-hmm. that. Um, I'm hopeful for a Qui-Gon Jinn appearance, 
whether it be just his voice or a uh, physical, or well, we know it's not physical, but or a ghostly, uh, force ghost appearance. I'm mm-hmm. I'm fine with that too mm-hmm. if that happens. Um, if they do just the voice, because you know maybe it's to the point where Obi Wan cannot manifestate that that uh, visual yet, and mm-hmm. maybe it's still just to a point where he can only hear a voice. Because I mean, we get that in 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 A New Hope too. You know, when mm-hmm. Obi Wan first goes to the uh, go, becomes one with the Force, um, Luke just hears him. He's he's in Luke's head. You know, because. Luke hears him when mm-hmm. he's in the in the trench run, you know, to destroy the Death Star, and he, he hears Obi Wan at that point. Um, mm-hmm. And at the beginning of Empire, he just hears him, and then faintly starts to see him, you know. Mm-hmm. And it, it's kind of what go to the Dagobah system, right? Right. You mm-hmm. you must train with Yoda. He was the master that trained me. Liar. <laughs> <laughs> Qui-Gon was your master. <laughs> Old Obi-Wan's a liar, man. <laughs> Although I know, I know. It was it was uh it was the truth from a certain point of view. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I got another one in. <laughs> um yeah. so yeah, th- those are the things I I'm hoping to see. Um Great. and mm-hmm. and I want to see something more of Luke. I I, I want to see young Luke do something. Oh oh, we got the T six T sixteen uh, Skyhopper wow. model. Yeah, and then I thought that was cool. And then oh, and threw it back to Obi Wan. I went no, that's Luke's that's Luke's model. Right. So we we know at some point he's going to get it back again. Well, yeah, he has we to because he he's playing with it in a New Hope, which mm-hmm. that's a funny little Easter egg too. Um. That was not planned uh, in in the original film. When when Mark Hamill picks up that model and he starts messing around mm-hmm. with it, he ad libbed that, and he broke the model. <laughs> 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 it was an original model. It was one of a kind at the time, and he just picked it up and started playing with it while he was doing his lines and you know while they were filming, and he he broke it. <laughs> That's funny. I didn't know that. Yeah. That's funny. Oh my goodness. I agree with you. I I I want to see something with Qui-Gon. I think that would be fun. Um I do want to learn why it seems that Obi-Wan can't use the force as well as he could. Like when Leia was falling, that shouldn't have been that should have been instantaneous for him to be able to catch her. Well, I I think he's he's out of practice. You know, I I think he's because he's he's trying not to use the force at this point, you know he's doing mm-hmm. everything just like when that one Jedi comes up to him and he's like, "What happened to you? You you mm-hmm. were a great Jedi at one point," and, and mm-hmm. Obi Wan's like, "Look, if you want to live, you might mm-hmm. want to go shut up and go hide," you know. Yeah. The other thing is, is you know when we see in Rebels, um, the Ben Kenobi, Obi Wan, and Darth Maul and they do their fight sequence and it's like boom it's done you know you're like he must be practicing or something maybe this inspires him to practice and get back into it what do you think well I mean uh, yeah I I I don't know how much he's going to get back into it Um, obviously he's going to get more (laughs) much more better (laughs) (laughs) <laughs> I can't drink anymore. I already drank up my tea. <laughs> um, for this for this season, for sure. But I think it, uh, after I think after all this blows over, he just completely goes back into hiding again. Um, you know, we we are seeing a different Obi Wan Kenobi at this point. This is this is not the the. Uh, um, uh, happy, um, uh, what's the word I'm looking for? Um, the happy go lucky Jedi master. Yeah, that wasn't exactly what I was looking know, for, but fine tuned, um, you know, you know, the you know, optimistic, 
the the optimistic yeah the optimistic optimistic optimistic. not opportunist Mm -hmm. not opportunists optimistic the the optimistic jedi master that we're used to this Mm -hmm. is a obi-wan who's broken he is broken he is fearful and 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 he's not just fearful for himself he's fearful for That's for right. luke you said that that he was fearful yeah you know so this is a totally different obi-wan and it's even a different obi-wan from what we see in a new hope because by that mm-hmm. time obi-wan has a new hope you know mm-hmm. it, it's appropriate the, the movie's appropriately named um mm-hmm. because luke is his new hope you know, he's mm-hmm. he's putting his hope in Luke, which, you know, probably isn't the best thing to do. I mean, it turns out good, you know, but um, the last time they put their hope in, to, in a quote unquote chosen one. <laughs> right. The, pro- didn't happen the so prophecy well. said that you were supposed to bring balance to the force, not join the dark side. <laughs> right. You're supposed to destroy the Sith, not you're, join them. You are my yep. brother, Anakin. <laughs> yeah. Told you I'm gonna, yep. get, I'm gonna get every Obi Wan line I can. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. I love it. Oh. Uh, so oh, good. so yeah. So hard, everybody. I yeah. think that's that's why he he was having some problems because he's just at that point where he's broken. He's he's broken. Now I did tell Brenda when uh when Leia is running from him and she keeps saying, um, how do I know you're, you're a Jedi? Um, you, you, and she tells him to levitate her and everything, you know, and she's like, you won't do it cause you can't. And she runs away from it. I told Brenda, I said, I wonder if we're going to have a, uh, Lois Lane moment here. Cause you remember, uh, Superman, Lois Lane tells Superman, well, if you're, if you're who I think you are, you'll save me. And she, jumps into the Niagara, Niagara Falls. And granted, he saves her, but you know, he makes it look like it wasn't him that saves her. So, uh but in a way, I mean, she didn't do it purposely like Lois Lane did. Mm-hmm. But we get that moment. You know, and and it's that same moment you're talking about where he it takes him a little bit. And that also may be just he's partially hiding it going okay how long can i hold off you know to make people not see what happened here too Mm -hmm. so Mm -hmm. maybe there's a little hesitation there to hide it and maybe it isn't he's as rusty as we think he is maybe it's just him trying to hide it so Mm. i don't know Maybe, maybe. Well, I look forward to it. I look forward to this whole series. I wish we had them all so we could binge it because I'd still be watching. <laughs> yeah, I would too. Yeah, uh, if if it, if it dropped all yeah today, I probably would have watched. That's them all. By golly, two episodes was not enough. I needed all six. <laughs> by golly, <laughs> uh, you know. The... <laughs> Stranger Things dropped, and I'm going to watch that, too. Oh, by the way, I was being told by listener Josh that we need to cover Stranger Things, and I said, well, Steven's got to watch it, so. <laughs> right, right. But, uh, yes, oh, uh, Stranger Things also dropped uh, today, and um, Brendan and I were going to be watching that for the next couple of days, so. <laughs> All right. Oh, my goodness. Woo. All right, everybody. Well, woo. Gosh. Oh my goodness. Oh, what I can't great... wait for the next one. Oh my gosh. Yep. Ooh, oh, ooh. My goodness. we might be able to go live Wednesday night. <laughs> I'm off work this week. <laughs> oh, you lucky devil, you. Lucky devil. Okay, cool beans. We'll talk about it. All right. Well, yeah, we'll see what I can do with my schedule to make that All right. happen. All so. right, cool. All right, man. All right, everybody. Well, hey, thanks for joining us. Uh, check us out on our website at twogeeksmike.com. Um, I'm still so flustered and wonderstruck <laughs> from the episode. I can't think of what else I'm supposed to say here at the end of the show. Oh. Kofi page, support <laughs> us. We've got some new things coming out that we're trying to work on and get out for everybody, uh, for those who are support us, because we really appreciate it. It does help us pay for, to do all this fun stuff. And, uh, and the community... That we're building 
is a fun community by golly. Yes. It really is. You we, know, Mike, we, you've done a great job with everybody. Thank you. Um, yep. Also, make sure and check us out tomorrow morning. We will be doing our regular episode tomorrow morning live, 9 a.m. Um, Theron's, Theron Lowry is going to— 9 a.m. Central Standard Time. Yep, 9 a.m. Central Standard. Um, figure out all the rest. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> it's too late for me to figure out all these uh, time zones and junk. Um, anyway, uh, Theron Lowry is going to join us again tomorrow. He hasn't been on in a while. We are going to talk some Miles Morales Spider-Man, which I'm, I'm excited. excited about. Looking forward to that. Um, yep. and, and I'm just looking forward to having Theron back because we haven't had him on in a while, and I like talking to him. He's fun. So um, He's got some knowledge. He's going to he's going to drop some knowledge on us. Yeah. I'm just saying. Yeah. So tune in tomorrow. Uh, join us with Aaron and, uh, I guess that's it. All right. So, well, what? No, go right ahead. <laughs> All right. I'm out. Mike, over, check us out. Over and out. And may the force be with you. Thank you for joining us today on the Two Geeks and a Microphone podcast. Tune in next week when we will have more news and reviews. Until then, 